New Watery One Church, a church with a foundation built on love, life, loyalty, and the common denominators of all religions and spiritual systems. In wisdom, uniting all people of the human race through understanding while fostering peace with truth. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be ridden in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Egyptian papyrus showing the God of the primeval waters noon, holding the emblem of long life. The blue-green colors of his body reflect waters. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. Forty is the numerical value of men. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. 600 is the numerical value of Mem in its final form. They named the sign Mem, meaning water. Around 1000 BC, the Phoenicians and other Semites of Syria and Palestine began to use a graphic sign representing the consonant M. First in form one, later, in form two. Noah in Arabic is new. Noah was on the ark with seven other people, his wife, their three sons, and each son had one wife, a total of eight people. Eight beings in a boat held up by noon. Noon, the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet the 25th letter of the Arabic alphabet. Hebrew and Arabic noon, akin to nu. Noon, also spelled nu, oldest of the ancient Egyptian gods and father of the gods. His name means primeval waters. Noon represents water. There is no life without water, neither Kemet without Emet, nor Emet without Mem. Noon's qualities are invisibility or air, the turbulence of stormy waters, darkness, infinity, or boundlessness. Noon is Ankh. Noon is life. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, and death and evil. I am come that they might have life. Noon, 14th Hebrew letter. Noon, his son. Noon, by definition, is the highest. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Noon, originally at 3 p.m., the ninth hour. For the hour of his judgment is come. Mention of the ninth hour occurs in scriptures nine times. Matthew 20 verse 5. 
Matthew 27 verse 45 During the crucifixion story in Matthew 27 verse 46 Mark 15 verse 34 Mark 15 verse 33 Luke 23 verse 44 Acts 3 and 1 Acts 10 verse 3 Acts 10 verse 30 But he answered and said unto them An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. People were so distracted that many people actually saw this sign and missed it. It was reported as Iraqi Christian homes are being marked with this letter. Hashtag we are in. The N was actually the Arabic letter Noon, the 25th letter of the Arabic alphabet, which means large fish or whale. The sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. Evolutionists say humans evolved from fish. They named the sign noon, meaning fish. Around 1000 BC, the Phoenicians and other Semites of Syria and Palestine began to use a sign representing the consonant N, first in form 1 and later in form 2. They named the sign noon, meaning fish. I agree with the evolutionists. Humans came from noon, meaning fish. Scientists will tell you that the earth is 71% water and 29% land. And that the human body is about the same percentage of water. I agree with science. Water is life. 